What's up logical people this is Amar. A very hungry worm reaches a tree covered in a lot of leaves. The worm eats one leaf and goes away. On the next day that's day 2 the worm reaches the tree again and this time it eats twice the number of leaves it ate on the previous day. So it eats two leaves on the second day. Then on the third day it eats four leaves. On the fourth day it eats eight leaves and so on. On day 30 it eats the corresponding number of leaves for this day and all the leaves on the tree are finished on this day. On which day did the worm finish exactly half of the total number of leaves? Pause the video and think logically. It's an interview trap and people who know lotus in a pond riddle are highly expected to fall for this trap. So if your answer is 29th day then you have been successfully trapped because 29 is an incorrect answer. The correct answer is indeed very surprising. I'd like to thank Tamir for sharing another beautiful interview trap riddle. Let's see what's the correct answer. Instead of 30 days, just consider a total duration of 4 days to make the calculation simpler. On day 1, the worm eats 1 leaf. On day 2, it eats 2 leaves. On day 3, it eats 4 leaves. And on the final day, that is day 4, it eats 8 leaves. And all the leaves are finished on this day. So the total number of leaves is equal to 15. And exactly half of the total number of leaves is equal to 7.5. By the end of day 3, it could only finish 7 leaves in total, which is less than the exact half value. So eventually, the exact half can only be completed on the last day when the worm eats half portion of a leaf on the last day to make it 7.5. So exact half of the total number of leaves are finished only on the final day. That's why in the actual riddle, the worm finishes the exact half of the total number of leaves on day 30, which is the final day. Now let's see how this riddle is different from the lotus in a pond riddle. In the lotus riddle, the lotus is in the middle of a pond and it doubles in size every day. On day 30, it doubles and occupies the complete pond. Then, on which day did it occupy the exact half of the pond? Of course here the answer is very simple. That is the day before the final day and that's day 29. If you analyze the two riddles carefully, you'll find a key difference between them which leads to completely different answers. And the difference is that in the case of lotus riddle, the lotus is already existing. That means it has an initial size and it starts to double itself right from the day one. Whereas in the worm riddle, it's not doubling its appetite from the first day. Rather, it simply eats just one leaf on day one and doubles it from the second day onward. As you can see, both of these riddles are quite similar, except for the additional component in the lotus riddle that represents the initial size of the lotus. So in the case of lotus, the exact half can be reached just one day before the final day. Whereas in the case of worm, up until the last but one day, the count would always be short of a fractional value of 0.5. That's why to achieve the exact half of the total count, the worm must come to the tree on the final day. Hope you guys enjoyed, please like and share the video and if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then give a try to these interview riddles. Also check out aptitude problems on my channel, Logically Yours.